As a tax professional for many years, my advice is to always file your tax returns. I know that seems obvious, but sometimes life happens and we find ourselves falling behind with lots of important stuff, especially filing your taxes. In this video, I'll share a story about a friend of mine who didn't file his taxes and almost lost out on a $5,000 refund because if you're due an IRS refund, you have three years in which to claim it. Once you've passed the three years, your refund is lost. I'll explain more in a bit. Later in the video, I'll let you know the last day to file your 2019 tax return in order to claim your refund. There's still time. Hi, I'm Noel Lorenzana, your friendly neighborhood accountant. So this was a few years ago. A friend of mine, let's call him Mike, confided in me that he hadn't filed his last three years of tax returns. I said to him, why the heck not? He said something about being super busy, somebody passed away in his family, and he thought he would owe the IRS and he didn't have the money to pay them. I thought about it for a minute and said, Mike, you have four kids, they're worth at least $2,000 each in child tax credits. You're probably gonna get a refund. He replied something like, oh shoot, I'm an idiot. I told him not to worry and to get me his tax documents so that I could work on it. The earliest year, I believe it was 2016 that he hadn't filed. He was still within the three year period to claim a refund, but time was of the essence. He didn't have a lot of time. I wanna say that it was under two weeks. So the way it works is that you have three years to claim an IRS refund. If you pass the three years, then your refund is lost. But at the same time, if you owe the IRS, you still owe them doesn't go away after three years. It's kind of one-sided, right? Well, actually, if you owe the IRS, they have 10 years to collect from you than the tax that expires. More on this in a bit. If nothing else, this is probably the biggest reason to file your tax returns. You don't want to lose out on potential tax refunds. This is your rightful money. Back to my story with my friend Mike. So he gets me his tax documents for 2016 with just a few days left before the last day to claim a refund. Actually, he got me all the years he had missed, so that included 2017 and 2018 as well. I rushed to prepare his 2016 tax return, and like I anticipated, he and his wife were due a pretty big refund. I believe it was just over $5,000. For some reason, I couldn't e-file his tax return. I can't remember why. So I prepared a paper copy that he could sign and mail in. I tell him to mail it to the IRS by certified mail no later than the next day. He follows my instructions and a few months later, he gets his refund check. He's happy, I'm happy for him, and all is good. This is why it's important to file all of your tax returns. As a side note, July 15, 2023 is the last day to file your original 2019 tax return to claim an IRS refund. So if you haven't filed your 2019 tax return, get to it. If you miss the deadline, any excess money that you pay to the IRS goes to the US Treasury instead of to you. You also lose the opportunity to apply any refund dollars to another tax year in which you might owe income tax. Even if you can't find your tax documents, talk to a tax pro. They can help you get the information you need from the IRS. You can also do it yourself by pulling your wage and income transcripts from the IRS. Another reason to file your tax returns is to get the statute of limitations running. Generally, the IRS has 10 years to collect a tax debt from you, which starts from the date of assessment. After this 10 year period has expired, the IRS can no longer try and collect an IRS balance due. However, there are several things to note about the 10 year rule. The statute reads, 10 years from the date of assessment. The assessment date is April 15 of the year that the taxes were due or the date the return was actually filed, whichever is later. But if you never filed a tax return, then the statute doesn't even begin. There are also things that can delay or toll the 10 year statute of limitations. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. If you found value in the video, please be sure to like it and subscribe to my channel to stay connected and hit the notification bell. If you need a tax preparation checklist, down below in the description, I have a handy one that you can download for free. And check out this video here on how to legally remove IRS penalties. And as always, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.